Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. Uh, once again in uh, one of my favourite Weatherspoon uh, haunts, currently, which is the Willow Walk just outside Victoria um, train station. Uh, I'd like to recite um, my latest poem that I did in the early hours of this morning. Uh, just to mention before I do, I try to um, upload um, most of my poems in Weatherspoons as I am a great uh, supporter of um, Weatherspoons and a wonderful advocate for them and Tim Martin, the founder. Also, uh, just for those who uh, watch this or follow me, uh, to explain that why uh, I recite uh, almost monotone uh, and quietly, as quiet as I can. It's because I'm in a busy pub and not everyone wants to hear me uh, waffling away. Um, so it tends to change the poetry slightly and also uh, most times uh, as I uh, write my poetry in the early hours of this morning, of the mornings, uh, it's normally the first time that I've actually read it myself. Um, so, it explains a lot of things. Anyway, my latest poem is called Because From my bedroom window, I watch a flickering star inch its way across the moonlit moonless sky. There are no clouds tonight to spoil my view, which goes uninterrupted and is faultless, the silent night broken only by the dull thump of my heart and the intermittent heavy gasp for breath that I have grown accustomed to since the heart attacks. I watch in silence as if not daring to be heard, as the star blinks in code a final message, and it is mine to imagine that it's saying its last goodbyes. As it hangs drifting through space, I wonder, will it vanish before my eyes, that I will be the final witness to this star, my chosen star, that now must say good night. It's the sound I'm waiting for as I hang on bated breath throughout the night. The terminal sound of water quenching fire, the dying sizzle from the glowing embers as they drown in their own personal tsunami. And life draws its shutters to say closed, both light and life gone forever, together in a puff of smoke. Exactly what's in store for all of us, especially me, as my terminus draws ever closer. And anyway, this is my night, and this particular star is my star, my chosen star, the one that flickered to catch my gaze. And if it's not there tomorrow, no doubt I'll choose another, and follow it as usual to its journey's end, and no doubt mine. Tss, tss.